Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do like a what's in my everyday makeup bag. Um, this little bag. This is a bag that I take with me to work and that if I need like makeup on the go that I don't have to, you know, look through my collection, I have like my tried and true products in here. So yeah, I hope that you guys, you know, find some products that you can use for in your everyday routine. And as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, also, I'm going to have my Instagram in the description bar. My Instagram is Sarah K. Kramer, all one word. And I would love if you'd give me a follow on Instagram. I keep you guys updated as, you know, with what I'm doing on my YouTube. And I just post in my story. I'm super active on Instagram. So, yeah, if you guys want to see what I have in my everyday makeup bag, then please keep watching. Okay, so to start, you guys digging the brighter lip? Because I show sure am. I am using on my lips, um, I'm using, it is the Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lip Liner in the shade Rose. It's very pink. I'm feeling just like super girly. I have pink on. I have like super blushed cheeks and I was like, I need a pink lip. So I have this for my lip liner. And then just in the center of my lips, I have this gloss by Smashbox. I don't know the name of it. It is like, it like perfectly matches my top. I have like a hair on my lip. Um, but this gloss is just so like pretty and just like obnoxiously Barbie pink. Oh, I love it. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to jump in and, to sh and show you guys, you know, what I, these are basically like what products I use. Sorry, I was wiping my swatch off. Um, these are basically products that I use anytime I'm like doing my makeup super quick, you know, if I have to do my makeup like, you know, quickly at work during my prep period. <laughs> um, but, you know, because I have first period prep. But yeah, so this is makeup that's just like super natural, super easy, and I feel it's very user friendly, you know, if you're a beginner to if you know you're super advanced. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on in. First off, don't you love my bag? Do you guys see a theme? Pink. Um, I got this bag at Nordstrom. This is by the brand Skinny Dip. And, you know, I love just how blingy it is. It has this gold decal right here. Or, um, you know, it says Skinny Dip. As well as it has a nice, you know, rose gold um, uh, zipper. And it holds, like, a good amount of product. I mean, it's... It's pretty hefty, and what I like is this glitter on here doesn't like flake off. It, you know, it's so it, the bag is made very well. I do know they make this bag in like a teal and per, like a teal purple, like opalescent type color, and I want to say in like a white gold color. I can go ahead and I'll link this bag um, in the description bar, but I got it at Nordstrom, so that's where you can find it. So first thing in my bag are the Pilato rice papers. I use this to blot. I, ah, as I throw them around, I really, really like these. Um, they're also powdered so you can blot, you know, where you're oily and it's also going to powder at the same time. So it does like double duty, which I love. Next is my L'Oreal True Match. I'm using the shade Natural Buff. I really enjoy this. You know, it's just a basic pressed powder. I've used this in like my last like two videos, I think. I did get this during my Ulta haul, and you know, it has the sponge, which I've used, and a mirror. So this is perfect for on the go. Next is my mascara. I am using the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. I really like this mascara. This is the waterproof kind. It holds a curl so good, like so good. I have never tried a waterproof mascara that I, that I like. This one I love, it's the only mascara I use. And I also really like the wand. I'm not a fan of the plastic wands. I'll use them, but they're not my favorite. I do prefer like the bristle wands, like the larger wands like these. I think they're perfect. So I have that. Next, I have the lip combo that I've been wearing like all the time. I wore it all day yesterday um, to work. We had like staff pictures and like a whole staff um, like brunch. And then I wore this lip combo today. It is, it's a double, double ended lip liner from Ulta. I got this in like a holiday set, but I've been using the shade Flesh. And I actually bought a full size lip liner of this in my last Ulta haul. And then the Kylie Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade, if you can see it, uh, shade Diva. 
So this is my lip combo. I love it. It's like my perfect glossy nude combo. I'm just obsessed. Next, I have a Clinique Chubby Stick. I really like this product. You can use it on your eyes. You can use it for your, you know, eyeshadow. You can use it on your cheeks for blush. You can also use it on your lips if you need like just something really quick. Um, and this is in the shade Robust Rhubarb. And, you know, it's just a really just nice pinky color and just so flattering, so girly, and I just love it. Um, next are my brushes that I have. I have a couple. I think this is all of them. No. I'm missing one. It's right here. Okay, so next are my brushes. These are basically the brushes that I use every single day. Um, I have my Anastasia. This is the Anastasia um, like brow brush. It has a concealer brush for cutting out, uh, carving out my brow, and it has a spoolie. Here is my Real Technique setting brush. I use this to set my concealer so under my eyes, in between my brows, down my nose, and on my chin. Next is my Sephora powder brush. I love this. It's super big, fluffy. I can dip into my pressed powder, quickly hit my face. It doesn't make my powder look cakey. It just gives like a nice dusting of powder all over my face. Next, I have a Sephora brand angled blush. Um, this is angled blush. I actually will use this for contour. I'll use this because um, I use the same product for like contouring bronzing that I also do for my blush. It kind of can do like double duty depending on how much I apply and where I apply it. So that's what I'll use this brush for. And then next I have my concealer brush. This is actually a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease, crease Brush, but I use, do use it for concealer because it is very dense. Um, typically on a day-to-day -day basis, I won't wear foundation. I'll just spot conceal and I might use like a primer that is like tinted or gives like a soft focus effect, um, which I'll show you what primer I use on a day-to-day -day basis, which I haven't used in a video, but I love it. So I'll use this for my concealer because it really helps cover. I mean, I had a breakout right here, my chin. So this brush covers perfectly. Um, oh, and I also have a Morphe M441 brush. So I take my bronzer or my blush and I pop it in my crease like I did today. Day-to-day -day basis, I typically, I don't use lashes. I'll just curl my lashes, you know, to high heaven. I'll apply, you know, two or three coats of mascara. And I'll just throw a bronzer or blush in my crease and I'm good to go out the door. Next up is my Shiseido eyelash curler. Love this thing. It literally... This eyelash curler and this mascara match made in heaven, honestly. Honestly, I just, and trust me, I've been curling my lashes since I was like 16 years old, and that's a long time. It's about 14 years, and this is hands down the best eyelash curler I have ever used, ever, and I've used a boatload. Um, next are my primers. So I use a blurring primer every single day. I use it for my T-zone, so basically right here, down my nose, sides of my nose, and my chin. And I was using the Benefit Professional for a long, you know, years ago before I started YouTube, but I found the NYX Pore Filler. It's an awesome, perfect dupe. It looks the same, it feels the same. It, I can't tell a difference. Um, so I use my NYX Pore Filler. I'm actually almost out. And then for days where I feel like I want to look like I have some foundation on my face. Sorry, someone was just like hauling down my street and I'm like, this is a family neighborhood. What are you doing? But whatever. I don't have speed bumps in my neighborhood. Anyways, so days where I were concealing just isn't really cutting it for me. and I want to look more um, like airbrushed. I will go in with the NYX No Filter Blurring Primer. I really like this. This primer has a tint to it. So it has like almost like a foundation tint and it blends out just so, I mean, so nicely. And I really like this. I used this um, yesterday actually. And I got so many compliments from like people at work that were like, like, that were like, oh, your skin looks just like really healthy. You know, and I was like, oh, it's my primer I'm using. So that's, you know, an awesome primer if you're looking for a great blurring, like drugstore blurring primer that also has a tint to it. Next, no surprise, my brow pencil is Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe. I love it. I actually am almost out. 
I like literally have that much left. So I'm gonna be needing to get it to get restock on this. But if for some reason, you know, rainy day this breaks, I can't find it, whatever it may be, I do have the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Natural Brown. This color is too dark for me because the ends of my hair, if you guys can see, the ends of my hair are a lot lighter than my roots. So I feel like taupe is a, gives me like a bold enough brow, you know, that it's not like too stamps on my face. I feel this e.l.f. pencil, if I don't use a light hand, it can look like stampy and it's just not very cute. So I do carry two brow pencils with me. They don't take up much and that's why I carry two. Next is like my everyday like eyeshadow palette. If I want to put more than just a bronzer or a blush in my crease, I will go in with my, I made this palette. Um, I made it at MAC and the colors are, I have Nauru is this black and the white shade it's a matte white it's called or it's like a cream shade it's orb and then my next two shades I have are wedge which is this beautiful like cool tone brown like neutral cool more it leans more on the cool tone side I love this it's perfect and the other one that I have is Soft Brown, which is a cult classic, a favorite. So is Wet. I feel like all of these, Orb, um, Soft Brown, and Wedge, I truly feel are just like cult classic eyeshadow colors. So these are my, you know, eyeshadow shades that I use. And this is my little palette that I have. And so I love this. I carry it with me everywhere I go. That does not go in there. I don't use that on a day-to-day -day basis. So... Next, I love this shade. I love this for bronze. I will use this shade for bronzing. I will use it for contouring very, very lightly. I will use this for blush. I will use this for eyeshadow. It is Tarte Amazonian Clay um, Blush in the shade Sensual. Mine is broken, and I've hit pan. To me, this shade is like a warmer tone bronzer. This shade is so flattering. It's actually what I wore this morning, but when I came home, I touched, I um, refixed up my makeup and I used a more peachy blush and a bronzer combo. But this, it just gives you such a nice natural color and flush. So I use this on a day-to-day -day basis for like bronzer, blush, eyeshadow. On my day-to-day -day, like makeup or what I keep in this makeup bag, I really try to use products that I can multitask with because there are some days I can only use like three products. Like I'm super pressed for time. And so I want something I can use for blush, bronzer, you know, even like highlight, um, eyeshadow. And so I have found that with a lot of these products, I can, you know, get double, double duty out of them. Another product that I can use for eyeshadow, bronzer, and even a blush is this. It's the Catrice um, Sunkissed Bronze in the shade um, 010. And I love it. It's just, it's very warm tone. And it, it, it does have a shimmer. You know, it swatches pretty nice. No, nice swatch right there. So I should swatch my, um, the tart one that I use. But I love this. Sometimes instead of, if I want to look really bronzy, instead of using this all over my face, I will go with my big fluffy brush and I'll actually go in with this bronzer. Um, and the Tarte shade is right, oops, sorry, right there. And it's just so nice. So this is more bronze, you know, that like bronzer color, whereas this is more like of a peachy, like warm tone shade. But hey, it works and I like it. Next, another primer that I use, which I didn't even realize I had in here, but I've been using this lately, is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I really like this. This is oil-free. I try to use oil-free products. I mean, I really try, but sometimes I don't, so it is what it is, you know, whatever. I do have a sample size because I used to not care for this primer, and then I got it in a sample at, like, Sephora, and, um, and like, you know, the, the points, little packages that they have. And I started using it again, and I was like, oh, I like it. So I've kind of have like, you know, I've revived with it. Me and me and this primer, we're vibing again. So it all is well, all is well in that department. Next, again, is for eyebrows. 
um, because this literally is just like Mary Poppins bag. I just keep pulling out makeup on makeup on makeup. Next is my favorite, you guys already know, Ulta brand, Ulta brand brow gel, clear brow gel, done. My favorite. I've used high-end ones. This one, and it's like $7, I think. Super cheap, very drugstore friendly, very pocketbook friendly, I love it. Now, if I want to use, if I, if there is a day where I'm like super, I mean super pressed for time, I won't do my eyebrows, I'll just take a tinted brow gel. I will use the Essence Make Me Brow, and I'm in the shade Blondie Brows. I love it, this does have fibers. This is a great dupe for the um, Benefit Give Me Brow. I'm like, what is it called? Benefit Give Me Brow, which I've used, I love it, but if you know, you know, your pocketbook's a little tight or you're trying to budget, you know, be more budget friendly with your routines, use this one. Beautiful, great, works well. So that's that. Next are my concealers that I use. I know I've been raving about the Urban Decay Naked Skin. However, these two concealers I'm almost out of, so I'm trying to use them up. And then the Urban Decay Naked Skin is going to make its way on into the bling bag. So, first off, I have, you guys already know, I've used it a gazillion and one times on my channel. The Urban Decay Naked Skin. I'm in the shade Light Warm. As you can tell, it's almost gone, but you know me. I'm going to use it until it is busted, crusty, and dry. Yes, my soda today is from McDonald's. Dollar Diet Coke. Go get you one. It's the best. Next is the Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer. I really like this. This is an awesome dupe for um, the NARS um, Ultra, was it Radiant Longwear Creamy Concealer. Um, and I'm using the shade Light. This is my basically my skin tone. And so this one I will use to spot, con spot conceal. This concealer I will use to brighten up my under eye. But typically on a day-to-day -day basis, I really don't want a super bright under eye because I'm not wearing foundation and since my cheeks are more like on the red side it just kind of looks a little bit funny you know just a little bit in my opinion next if I could only have five beauty products five that's it this is one of them Dior lip glow I feel like people either love this product or they hate this product me personally I love this product I use just this littlest bit and what it does is it works with the natural pH levels of your lips and it's like your perfect pink shade. Now, if you go in and you go ham with this, it's going to kind of like gunk up and it's going to look like you have a super bright, obnoxious pink like lip liner and it's not that cute. But if you use it and you just dab it on your lips and then, you know, blend it out with your finger, it gives your lips the most perfect like flushed look. Like... If you push your hand up against your lip, you know, your lips, and then you pull your hand away and your lips have like that red, like that kiss of red because there's been pressure applied, that's what this does. It also has shea butter in it. This outdoes any chapstick. I will use this before bed and I feel like I wake up in the morning and my lips are just so soft and like plump and juicy and just healthy looking and just a beautiful like kiss of red it's just the best another thing i do use on a very regular basis like day to day in the morning after i get a shower is my um smith's rosebud salve again this makes your lips look just straight wet and juicy and like mmm yes give it to me that's this this is just perfect like if you need a quick if you're not a lipstick person but you want to have a little bit of color on your lips this is perfect this is something that I think would, this is a product I feel would be great for somebody who is just getting into makeup. Like those of you who maybe are like early teens, you know, I, like I said, I teach middle school. So those of you that are like in middle school, if you want a lip product that is going to not be lip gloss or lipstick, but still going to give your lips a little bit of color to where it's like, are their lips naturally like that color or do they have something on? This is great. Unfortunately, it's a little bit on the expensive side. It's I think like 30, it's like 36 bucks. And you can get it at Nordstrom or like Sephora. So this I love, I keep it. This travels with me wherever I go. And I watch it like a hawk because I only buy one at a time. 
and this is like my fourth bullet I've gone through in like two years. I use it all the time. Another powder I use, and I love it, I only use this to set my end eye, my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in the shade one. Love this, this will, on days where I don't wanna use my like brightening concealer under my eye, I will go in with this, and it just helps to help me look more awake and like put together. All right, two more, two more products, because these other products, I don't know how they made their way in there because I don't use them. Last two products and then my bag is empty. Um, this one is the Stila All Over Shimmer Duo in the shade Kitten. If I can open it. I really, really like this. This is more like bronzy side, um, like a champagne-y bronze side, and this is a much more pinky side. I will use this for eyeshadow or a highlight. Typically, I'll go in with the darker side as like an eyeshadow, and I will use the more pinky lighter side for my highlight. I really enjoy this. And last but not least, this is the Ulta Gel Eyeliner in the shade Chocolate. I will use this to line my upper waterline. Um, I don't ever really line my lower waterline. It's just, I mean, it's I like it, but I'm not like, oh, I have to do it. But I will use this to line my upper waterline to just really help define my eyes. I did not do that today though. I'm like super ultra natural today. So yeah, you, oh, and I have a sharpener, you know, in case I need to sharpen my eyeliner or lip liner. But yeah, those typically, you know, besides my lip products, I switch those out very frequently. And you know, I also use MAC Subculture. I use MAC Strip Down. You know, I use so many different lipsticks. It's insane. But Besides lips, you know, face, brows, my mascara, my brushes, you know, concealer, primers, powders, those are all based really, you know, really what I use every day. So yeah, you guys, I hope that you found this video useful. And thanks for so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me, you know, and talking all things makeup and beauty. It's just brings me so much happiness. So yeah, like I said before, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my Instagram, Sarah K. Kramer. I'll have it in the description bar. I also will list these products down in the description bar, you know, as well as where you can find them if you want to go and check them out. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!